Let's have a look at question 4 now. So we have two prices of X and Y, 120 euros and, and 80 euros. Let's, let's, let's get that. 120 and 80. Is this true or false? If the price of X increases by 18 and price of Y increases by 12, the new budget line will be shifted inward and parallel. So let's see that. Remember, what's a budget line? We want to write a function of Y in terms of X. So let's write first with the initial prices. Um, we can see that the price of X equals to 120 and the price of Y equals to 80 and we have no data on our income so we just have a certain income, a certain level of money. Meaning that our budget line would look something like that. We spend 120 euros on X plus we spend 80 euros on Y and that makes up all our money. Now let's write Y in terms of X. So let's keep Y on this side and let's take 120x on the other side. Uh, let's take it over there. So we would have 80y equals to m minus 120x. Now let's divide both sides by 80 so we can have y on one side only. We would have y is equal to m minus 120x divided by 80. And let's separate this function as m over 80 minus 120 divided by 80 times x and let's just write it also like that m over 80 minus 1.5 times x so we have a number we don't work with fractions now is this a line yes it is this is an intercept this is our intercept and this is our slope minus 1.5 let's draw this let me zoom out and draw this so here, here, let's draw it. Um, yeah, let's draw it to the right so we can compare later with the next graph. Uh, change colors, y and x. So we have here hop and hop, quantity of x, quantity of y. Remember, the intercept is the maximum number of y's we can have. That's m over 80. So we don't have an exact number, we'll just call it m divided by 80. Let's put it here, m over 80. Now the slope is 1.5, so I'm not gonna go like super, super like exact, but 1.5 is a relatively steep slope and let's say it would be something like that. That's the slope, minus 1.5. That's the opportunity cost between x and y. Okay, we got that. Now let's solve for the other budget line if the prices change. Remember, we have an option that the prices change. Let's see what the new prices would be. Price of X increases by 18 euros. So we would have 120 plus 18, that's 138. Price of Y increases by 12 euros. So we would have 80 plus 12, that's equal to 92. Now let's draw the new budget line. Let's do the same math. Now we're spending 138 euros on the X plus 92 euros on the Y and that's all the money that we're spending. So let's leave Y on one side only, just like before. 92 Y, this one, take it to the right, becomes M minus 138 X. Now let's divide both sides by 92 so we can have Y on one side only y equals to m minus 138x divided by 92 and that's equal to again let's separate the function so we have the same intercept and the slope m over 92 minus 138 by 92 that's also 1.5 times x what do we have now we have again our we have again our intercept and our slope so we can see that this is the new intercept and the slope is still negative 1.5. If we have the same slope, we'll have the same, um, yeah, basically we'll have a parallel line. But the question is, is the line parallel to the left or to the right? Well, this is our money in total and we're dividing now by 92. If we divide the same number by a higher number, the result becomes smaller. And what's the intuition here? Let's see if that actually makes sense. Well, before, Y cost 80 euros. When it costs 80 euros, of course we can buy more Y than when it costs 92 euros. So I hope you can agree with me that the intercept here is gonna go down 
because it's a smaller number, a smaller value we can have. But the slope is still the same, so we go parallel down. The trade-off is the same, the opportunity cost is the same. Something like that. Still minus 1.5 as a slope. So yes, we can see that the budget line shifted inward, right? It shifted inward and it's parallel to the old budget. So the answer is true. Where was it? Here. The answer seems to be true. We are done.